Okay, I can see a few people have joined, so we might get started. Um, hello, everyone, and thanks again for joining today's webinar. Um, this is our latest HashiCorp snapshot titled Various Workloads on Nomad, which today will be presented by Senior so Solutions Engineer Takayuki Kaburagi. So today, Kabu will introduce us to various workload deployments on Nomad um, by way of a short presentation and demo. Uh, I'll note that this session is being recorded and a recording or a link to the recording will be sent to you within the next couple of days. Um, so today's presentation and demo will last about 15 minutes. And to keep it to the 15 minute time frame, we won't have um, time for a QA and a at the end. So if you do have questions, please submit your questions via the Q&A tab at the bottom of your screen there. And we've got um, David Wright, MSE online to answer your questions as we go. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and get started. Over to you, Kabu. Okay, thanks, Pete. Uh, okay, hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining today. Uh, I'm Kabu, Senior Solutions Engineer at Haskell. Uh, I'm based in Tokyo. Uh, today, I will introduce you to how Nomad could run various types of workloads with a single and consistent API and workload. So let me talk about the background uh, a little bit uh, before the demo. Now, uh, today, a lot of companies are considering uh, and trying to move to uh, cloud environments and also move applications to orchestration systems for accelerating their business. In such a situation, they always need to consider how they run containers in production environment and also how they migrate their existing workloads to containers for receiving the benefits from uh, orchestration tools. So there are a lot of challenges to containerize uh, existing workloads. Refactoring applications to be cloud native model is sometimes really hard. And also sometimes depending on types of workloads, a single orchestrator cannot support to run them. In this case, uh, users need to uh, prepare and maintain different types of orchestrators and also cloud environments. So to realize this migration, companies have to keep a lot of budget, times, and resources, and so on. So Nomado provides a simple and lightweight architecture and API, but uh, Nomado is a full functional orchestrator system. Uh, too. Nomado has a fast class support for the container workloads like Docker and Kotman. On the other hand, uh, Nomado also supports no non-container workloads. So users and operators are able to receive the benefits from orchestrator's automation uh, capability without any rewriting and refactoring existing applications. So as I'm showing you like this, so Nomado is supporting a lot of types of workloads. Firstly, Nomado itself can run everywhere, Linux, Mac OS, Windows, etc. Also, Nomado is supporting several types of workloads. Long running is like uh, a database and web applications and APIs. And batch processes, cron job, and function is also supported. And also system agents, uh, which should be run on every Nomad node is also supported. It's like a daemon set for Kubernetes. So I cannot uh, cover all of types uh, today, but I'd like to show you the pattern as much as possible. So today uh, I, will deploy, I will deploy simple uh, web systems, which have several types of jobs, and it's, they are uh, deployed onto Nomad. I will deploy six applications. First is MySQL. Uh, this is a Docker container and uh, has a persistent volume. This is a stateful workload. And Java is a non-container workload. This application shows the data from MySQL. And uh, parameterized, oh, sorry, parameterized job is simple shell scripts function. Uh, this converts input text to uppercase and taps this data to MySQL. And Go application is an API for clients. Uh, this application receives a user input and invokes a parameterized job. Uh, this is also a non-container application. And finally, I have uh, two clone jobs. One is for backing up MySQL, and uh, second is for call requests to Go API every five seconds. Okay, so let's start from uh, MySQL. Uh, Nomado uh, provides fast class configuration for Docker containers. A lot of settings can be 
a lot of settings can be uh, configured like a network or hardware resources, etc. When it applies to Nomado, uh, Nomado invokes the uh, Docker engine to schedule this application. Also, this has a persistence disk. Nomado supports uh, a stateful workload with host volumes, and also a CSI plugin is also supported. Okay. So let's start the demo. Uh, this is Uh, so this is an uh, output from uh, MySQL records, and the second is showing nomad job status. And the last one is uh, showing S3, uh, AWS S3 bucket uh, status. And let, let's open the MySQL configuration file. Uh, configuration is very simple. I just specify a type equal service. This means uh, this is a long-running long processes because it's a database. And driver equal Docker, and I added the volume mount uh, options. Uh, in this case, I I'm using the uh, local host volume. And so this is a configuration for Docker container. Uh, image equal image and port mapping setting, and the image is my SQL and version. So uh, today I already deployed it uh, onto Novado already because it takes some time to download the image. So you can see uh, the uh, one of the Docker container is now running on my local host. Okay. So uh, next is the Java application. Uh, I will deploy Java apps onto Nomado right now. So Nomado also supports, uh, has the Docker uh, driver for Java application workloads. It's for setting uh, JVM options and also invoking JVM from Nomado. Uh, this, job, this job is also long running so let's deploy uh, this application. Nomado job run is uh, for starting the job and argument is uh, configuration file. So let's see the configuration file for Java application. A uh, type equal is the same because this is web API, so it's long running services. And driver equal Java. And this is the Java uh, configuration for Nomado. Uh, I specify JavaPass, this is an application binary, and uh, I added the JVM options like this. And before running this job, this job will uh, download the application binary from my uh, S3 object storage. So uh, it's, I think it's already running. So let's see the uh, application from browser. So this is a, a Java application. So no, no record inside the MySQL right now. So let's insert one of the data uh, name doc. And you can see the new record inside the MySQL and also from Java application is also visible. Okay. So next is the parameterized job. So this job can work only when invoked and execute one task and then uh, scale into zero. This task, this task is very simple. Uh, convert the input data to uppercase and store it to the MySQL. Uh, this function is built by a shell script in this case. And Nomado supports these types of uh, application in the exec driver. Exec driver invokes a particular command for a task and the resource isolation is achieved by uh, C group and CH root uh, in, for the Linux. So let's execute this job with this command. Uh, so this is a configuration for parameterized job, a type equal batch. This is a different from previous ones uh, because this is only one time job. And driver is, is exec and executed uh, command is here. And I added uh, configuration for parameterized job like this. So I will register uh, this job at first to Nomado. Okay. So you can see it's uh, registered, but jobs are not allocated to any Nomado node right now because uh, this is uh, uh, invoked only when uh, it's 
uh, API is called. So let's execute this uh, job. Nomad job dispatch is for invoking the parameter as job, and cat is uh, uh, payload. So as you can see here, uh, uh, when the job is invoked, it's allocated to Nomado and it's now uh, running actually. So and when it's completed, uh, it's scaled to zero again. And you can see, you can use this like for function scheduler actually. So uh, this job converts uh, the cat to uppercase and start it to database. So you can see new record cat, but the uh, upper uh, capital. And also, or you can also see the uh, new record from Java application. So uh, next is the GoLang application. The same with parameter as job. It uses the exec driver and runs trigger a Go command, which is installed into the operating system. Different from previous jobs, uh, this is running as a long running services web API. So let's start deploy this application. Yeah, but well, this is a configuration. A driver is exec, which is the same, and the command is go, and I specify argument, go run, and go application file. But the type is service, because this is a long running uh, web application, a web API application. So let's deploy this one. Yeah, it's now allocated to Nomado. So this, uh, let's hit this application's API with a curl command from uh, my local host. And this API will provide the interface for uh, user inputs and invoke the parameter as job. In this case, this pig, uh, sorry, uh, this, the letter P, uh, it will be passed to the function parameter as job as a payload. And the function converts it uppercase uh, to to uppercase and store it to MySQL. Let's uh, execute this request. So now you can see new this uh, parameterized job is dispatched and now running. When it's finished, it's scaled to zero and new record will be added like this. So it is now on the MySQL. And you can see a new record from Java application too. So uh, the last job uh, today I will show you is a periodic job, uh, which is like a clone job. Uh, I will put two types of clone job today. The first is for backing up MySQL every 10 seconds and store it to AWS object storage. And the other is the per per periodic call request uh, to Go API with random animal names. Uh, it's every uh, 10 seconds, I think. So let's see the uh, configuration file first. This is for backing up type equal batch because this is only one time uh, jobs. And driver is exec and executed uh, shell script is here. This is for just dumping MySQL and uh, store it to AWS storage. Okay. So, uh, and also I configured a periodic uh, configure the setting for periodic job here, and this is a scheduler setting and time zone, and some uh, uh, some other uh, configures can be uh, supported. So let's deploy this job to Nomado, periodic backup, and periodic card request to go API. Okay, so uh, this is uh, scheduled to uh, every, I think, uh, 20 seconds for backing up and the car request will be every five seconds. So uh, you can see uh, every five seconds, period car uh, request is go to the uh, Go API applications and period uh, parameterized job is invoked like this. And so you can see AWS S3 object bucket and, and periodic job will store the MySQL dump like this. Okay. So uh, you can see the record inputs by clone job uh, inside the 
MySQL and Java application like this. Okay, uh, that's all today's demo. I hope you understand Nomado uh, can host several types of jobs, uh, like uh, containers, non-container, Java, OS commands, stateless and stateful workloads, and the Chrome job, and also functions uh, also support it. Uh, thanks for attending today, and you can start to try to use Nomado only by two commands like this. So please uh, try. Thank you. That's great. Thank you, Kabu. Very good. Very interesting. Um, now I'm just checking to see whether there's any questions in the q and I I can't see any. No. But if you do have any questions, folks, you can reach out to Kabu on that email there um, or, or, or look further for, for information on those links. So that brings us to the end of our session today. Um, we hope you found it useful. As I mentioned, this session was recorded, so and we'll make a, uh, a recording available on our website soon. You'll also receive an email with a link to the video. And if you like what you heard today and you want to learn more about Nomad, as I mentioned, there's a, a link there, learn.hashicorp.com. If you, if you look up that link, you can find all the details about all our products and you can dive deep into, into Nomad. Um, yeah, so thanks again, folks, for joining. Um, big thank you to Cabo again for, for, for presenting and for Dave for helping out with the Q&A. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, folks. Um, we'll, we'll see you at the next snapshot. We are organising these every two weeks um, and we'll send an email out uh, inviting you to the next four very soon. So thanks again for joining and goodbye for now.